and I'm Cameron Bailey, the Artistic Director and Co-Head of TIFF. We are so thrilled uh, to be with you here tonight. You know, a year ago we didn't think this would be the launch of the festival, but we made it happen somehow, and you guys are a part of it. A historic festival for us, so thank you very much. This is the 45th Toronto International Film Festival. As you join us tonight and during the next nine days of the festival, we, we really encourage you to reflect on the land that we're on and uh, who the traditional keepers of that land are, uh, whether there's a treaty relationship or if it's unceded territory. Here in Toronto, we're on the uh, treaty lands and territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit and the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, the Wendat, the Haudenosaunee. And this territory is within the lands protected by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant and is home to many First Nations, Inuit, and Métis. We're grateful to be working on this land and to be presenting the work of Indigenous creators. This year we've had to rethink just about everything, but through all the planning, collaborating, and support, there were always two sources of inspiration. The first is you, our passionate audience. Year. And the second, the film, the films, the talks and events that we can't wait to share with you. Throughout the festival, we'll be joined both live and virtually by some of the most compelling art, artists in cinema whose films were selected from an overwhelming number of submissions from around the globe. They reminded us of cinema's unique power to push society forward, to present a diversity of, jo of voices, and to change the way we see the world. And you know, our opening night film tonight is a perfect example of that. It comes to us from a pair of masters, David Byrne and Spike Lee. And they're about to take you on a unique musical journey that calls on us to connect with one another, to protest injustice, and to celebrate life. Like a lot of the films selected this year, it seems custom made for this moment. Thank you for sharing that moment with us and thank you for supporting film at a time where we really need it. This year we created our For the Love of Film Fund, which with your help will enable us to continue bringing powerful stories like this one to audiences each September and year round. And, um, you know, we have uh, a special guest that I wanted to, uh, to introduce from the film as well. Uh, she's someone who uh, you'll see in the film performing. She was a part of David Byrne's band. She was born and raised here in Toronto, the daughter of a legendary musician, Nemo Acevedo, and she's come and quarantined here in Toronto so that she could be with us tonight for the world premiere of this film. Please. Welcome for a quick hello, Jacqueline Acevedo. Hi guys, it's so great to be here. Can you hear me through my mask? Okay, great. I just want to say what a thrill it is to be here uh, at Ontario Place. I would never miss this in a million years. Um, coming back to my hometown to be able to share this beautiful piece of art with you guys. I was speaking with uh, my bandmates earlier and with Andy B, the choreographer, and everyone is so excited about um, this. About? Did you hear my about? I'm still Canadian. You see that? <laughs> yeah, thank you. But um, I, I'm just so thrilled to be here. My bandmates, of course, wish that they could be here too. Of course, the situation is, is challenging and uh, everyone would love to be here, but I hope that you receive my love on behalf of the whole band and all the cast and David and Spike, and I really just hope that you can just get into this film, feel the inspiration from it, be encouraged by it, feel the joy of it, feel the move of it, and be involved in uh, what, what we're trying to do, and I, I think that um, there's no better time than right now, 2020, that this film is coming out. So. Thank 
we, uh, we want to thank um, some of the people who make everything we do at TIFF possible, especially our board of directors, and in particular, our board chair, Jennifer Torrey. We also want to acknowledge TIFF's founders, Bill Marshall, Dusty Cole, and Hank Vanderkoop, who 45 years ago brought the whole film world's attention to Toronto and its growing film industry. You know, sadly, this year we lost one of the pillars of the industry, George Christie. He was a legendary film industry observer, and for years his annual lunch during the festival brought all the power players together and helped make Toronto a fixture in Hollywood's calendar. He will be dearly missed. Yeah. Okay. A, sincere, a sincere thank you to our lead sponsor, Bell, and our major sponsors, RBC, L'Oreal Paris, and Visa, for their steadfast commitment. We are pleased to present this film at the beautiful RBC Lakeside Drive-In and Ontario Place. We thank RBC for making this possible. As we open our 45th festival, we reflect on the past several months of living and operating under the cloud of a pandemic. This has shown us all the importance of decisive and timely actions taken by our government leaders to protect the safety of its citizens and ensure that businesses and community, along with cultural institutions like TIFF, will have the economic support and resources needed to operate during and post-pandemic. As such, we are delighted to welcome the Government of Canada, a valued and longtime supporter, helping to make TIFF happen each and every year through key funding support received from Telefilm Canada and the Canada Council for the Arts. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Honourable Stephen Gibbo, the Minister of Canadian Heritage. Joanna Cameron, thank you for the warm welcome. Hello everyone, bonsoir à toutes et à tous. It's a great pleasure for me to be here with you tonight on the opening of TIFF. I first want to acknowledge the original caretakers of the land that we're gathered on tonight. The Huon Wendat, the Oduna and the Anishinaabe, including the Mississaugas of the Credit. Welcome to TIFF 2020. It's a strange time, and who here would have ever imagined that in 2020 we would be watching movies in a drive-in? The pandemic has certainly made putting on a large event even a bigger challenge than it already is. I want to congratulate folks at TIFF. You have moved heaven and earth to make this festival happen, and we're very glad for it. We at the federal government are very proud to support the festival again this year. Every September, the world turns to Canada to find out which movies to watch. In any given year, TIFF is a key part of the international film industry and a major job creator. But in a pandemic year, TIFF means even more to all of us. Since March, Life has gotten more difficult for many Canadians. In many cases, the pandemic has been a lonely and isolating experience. We all needed an opportunity like TIFF to be with each other as a community and to do something normal like watch a movie together. And even though we still have to maintain physical distancing to keep each other safe, we crave this opportunity to, make, to meet the incredibly talented people behind these stories. For all the filmmakers, actors, and crew members, we want to recognize all of the hard work, time, and dedication it takes to get a movie made. We know it's been tough out there for many of the people in the film and television industry, and I know you're eager to get back to work, and we're working hard to make it happen. From day one, we've been there to support Canadians who've, had, who've lost their job because of COVID-19, and we will do everything we can to get them back on set. Tonight, we celebrate them for the magic they create on screen and for reminding us that art always finds a way to bring us together even when we're apart. Thank you all for coming tonight. Enjoy the festival. Thank you so much, Minister Gibo. The province of Ontario is a valued and longtime supporter, helping to make TIP happen each and every year particularly through key funding support received from Ontario Creates and the Ontario Arts Council. We're delighted to welcome the province of Ontario tonight for this evening's screening. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Honourable Lisa McLeod, 
the Ontario Minister of Heritage, Sport, Tourism and Culture Industries to the stage. Lisa. is obvious and especially patient for two uh, very different reasons. Uh, tonight we celebrate 45 continued years of success in bringing film to the screen and celebrating all that is Canadian content and uh, the, uh, the experiences that, uh, that the Toronto International Film Festival brings. And as Minister Gibo mentioned, we are also, of course, in the middle of uh, the worst global pandemic of our lifetimes. But tonight speaks of the resilience of the people of the Toronto International Film Festival, the people of Toronto, the people of Ontario, and of course, the people of Canada. And we are committed to ensuring that we are successful for another 45 years. I'd be remiss not to point out that we are on the site of the iconic Ontario Place, which in the next few months will be celebrating its 50th anniversary as we undergo the redevelopment of this iconic place. And so I think tonight, is a good uh, way to start to celebrate uh, the next 45 and 50 years of what the future may behold. And so that's why tonight I'm pleased to be here on behalf of your Ontario government and Premier Ford to announce $1.6 million in funding uh, to stabilize the Toronto International Film Festival and to support its ongoing operations and make sure that we continue to support its ongoing success. We will also continue to support through Ontario Creates, Ontario made and Canadian made film content, which is very important. I think in 2019, we had a successful year as we looked at Ontario's and Canada's film production in our province, rising from $1.9 to $2.1 billion. And almost all of that success came through domestic creation. That's something we should all be able to celebrate. And just before I leave, and, and thank you all for coming and your continued patronage in this uh, unprecedented year and extraordinary adaptation of what the Toronto Film Festival looks like, I again want to say thank you to Joanna and to Cameron, uh, both who spent a lot of time working with our Ministry of Heritage in the province of Ontario to look at what the big Toronto eight cultural institutions will look like in a post-COVID-19 environment. And as we chart that course together, I can't say thank you to both of them enough on behalf of all of you and of course on behalf of our government and of course an additional thank you to Cameron for chairing that uh, endeavor for me. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you much success, I wish you much enjoyment and I know these are difficult times but we'll get through it together. We have a wonderful Ontario spirit and to all of those who are on the front lines of essential workers in the early days of this pandemic, Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Minister Papa. We are thrilled to welcome a true friend of the festival to the stage tonight. Representing our municipal government partner, the City of Toronto is a vital supporter and a very close companion of TIP. Everyone from the Mayor's Office, our City of Toronto Councillors, their staff, the team from the city's economic development and culture division, transportation ser services, the TTC and beyond, all are critically important in helping to make TIP a success each and every year for the enjoyment of both Torontonians and visitors alike. Thank you for all that you do. Please join me in welcoming our very dear friend, His Worship John Tory, Mayor of Toronto, to the stage. I'm going to leave my mask on for just a moment so you can savor it because tomorrow night is going to be a big night for another of our favorable institutions. I decided to wear the mask instead of the jacket because under these bright lights the jacket would, would, would beam like a laser out into your cards and ruin your eyesight for the rest of the evening. Can I say to, uh, to Cameron and to Joanna, and I'll add my sister who I'm so proud of, she's the volunteer chair of the board of TIP, may I say simply thank you for the fact that you have come together with imagination and determination and made sure that the 45, 45th festival was going to be another one to remember. You know, you look back at some of the, uh, the vignettes that we see at festivals and see the early days of Dusty and Hank and Bill 
and what those festivals look like. Someday people will be looking at this one and saying it was different, but they made it happen anyway, pandemic or not, because Toronto loves film, and film loves Toronto, and we're going to make sure the 45th is one of the best ever. And I'm proud to be the mayor of a city that has been a financial supporter of TIFF all 45 of those years. We are going to continue to support it, and I will call the meeting. I will say to you, Cameron and Joanna, I will call the meeting of the three governments to make sure we sign up to look after whatever needs to be looked after to make sure TIFF can emerge from 2020 strong and ready to head into 2021 as strong as ever for a bigger and better festival next year. because of TIFF itself, but it also is the foundation, one of the foundations of an incredibly important part of our city, both as an industry, but also as something that does, uh, as Minister Gilbo said, bring people together. It brings people together. The arts and culture are what create for this city a sense of creativity, of innovation, and that stands us in good stead around the world. It helps to create jobs. It does a lot of things that are good for Toronto, and it allows us, Canadians especially, to tell our stories, and TIFF has been at the forefront of allowing Canadians to tell their stories on film. So congratulations again. Good luck with this year, the 45th, which will be one of the best ever and the most memorable ever. We will be there to help going forward as a city. We're your partners. We love you, and we think you're a fundamental part of what it is to live in the greatest city and the greatest country in the world. Thanks very much. Thank you, Mayor Tory. We want to recognize the enormous courage, strength, and efforts of our hometown heroes, our frontline workers. Every day they've put their lives on the line for us, and they've been uniting us since the moment COVID-19 started to spread. You are the ones who are getting us through the pandemic and have become the true heroes of our country. So thank you for your passion to serve, and thank you for your incredible strength behind the scenes. RBC is celebrating our hometown heroes by invite, inviting Manpreet Kainth, who's a registered nurse in the ICU at Humber River Hospital, and Dr. Jenny Johnston, Medical Director of Infe Infection Prevention and Control at Sinai Health, to this screening. Thanks to RBC, they're joining us today from the best seats in the house, which they surely deserve. Thank you to Manpreet Kainth and to Jenny Johnston for being here and for everything you've done for Toronto. So you stole my thunder because I was going to say to everyone watching this right now, I see Manpreet Kainth and Dr. Jenny Johnstone and all frontline workers with us tonight deserve to be celebrators. So let's do it again. One, two, three. Are there condos nearby? <laughs> didn't even think of that, so maybe we want to keep the honking down a little bit, but I'm so glad that we're able to celebrate uh, the people who've been doing so much work over the last several months and have so much more to do, I'm sure. Thank you. Uh, as ever, the festival really is about you, our audience. You helped us create a more informed, engaged, connected world. And if you want to know more about TIFF, if you're not as immersed in TIFF as maybe you, you would like to be, you can visit tiff.net slash join and learn more about membership. A reminder that this film, like every film in our festival, is eligible for our People's Choice Award. That's the award that you vote for. And you can vote for your favorite films at tiff.net slash vote. We want to thank Crave and HBO for providing us with this film. We've got a little introduction from the makers of the film to come, but we hope you enjoy it. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.